Welcome to Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. Make your foot the foot that counts. Beneath the Baltic's briny wave. Where secrets sleep in watery grave. A wall of stones, both small and grand. Reveals a tale of ancient land. Once glaciers fled, and seas embraced. Upon the seabed, stones were placed. By hands unknown, a wall arose. A silent guide, its purpose shows. The Baltic Sea, a branch of the Atlantic Ocean, is surrounded by Denmark, Estonia, Finland, Germany, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Russia, Sweden, and the plains of North and Central Europe. During the autumn of 2021, Dr. Jacob Gerson, a specialist in marine geology research, found himself aboard a vessel in the Bay of Mecklenburg, eyes glued to the echo sounders display. Accustomed to the sight of rocks and stones dotting the Baltic Sea's bottom as bumpy anomalies, remnants of glaciers retreating from Northern Europe thousands of years ago, what appeared before him this time was markedly different. A ridge, meandering through the underwater landscape for nearly six tenths of a mile, captured his attention. Unlike the scattered, solitary rocks he was used to, this formation seemed to be a deliberate alignment. I thought it's very likely that these are rocks, one next to the other, lined up, Gerson reflected, pondering the possibility of an interconnected structure. On Thursday, February 22, 2024 by Ari Daniel. The mission was clear, to lower a camera into the depths and unravel the mystery of this ridge. The footage revealed a revelation, thousands of rocks forming a low wall, averaging about 1.5 feet in height. Under the sea. This wasn't just a random accumulation of stones, it was a deliberate arrangement. It's usually small stones, like tennis or soccer ball size, so movable stones, Gerson explained, noting the pivotal role of larger, immovable stones in dictating the wall's direction. This discovery, which they named the Blinker Wall, after a nearby underwater feature called Blinker Hill, defied conventional geological formations, prompting a turn to archaeology for explanations. Barrett Erickson, a prehistoric archaeologist at the University of Kiel, approached the findings with a healthy dose of skepticism. Specializing in the study of early human settlers in northern Europe post-glacial retreat, Erickson's perspective shifted as she delved into the data. Sherlock Holmes came to mind during this process. Despite archaeologists' usual reluctance to claim the discovery of truth, Erickson found herself running out of natural explanations for the blinker wall's existence. Her conclusion was unexpected. The structure had to be man-made, likely a hunting tool used by Stone Age hunter-gatherers some 10,000 to 11,000 years ago. Erickson theorized that the wall served as a strategic tool for herding and hunting reindeer by the hundreds. Reindeer naturally follow stone barriers, and the blinker wall, robust even in its modest stature, would have effectively trapped them between the wall and the water, making them easy targets for hunters' arrows. This strategy implied a deep knowledge of the landscape and animal behavior, suggesting a semi-nomadic lifestyle with recurring migration patterns. The existence of such a structure indicated sophisticated planning and environmental manipulation by prehistoric Europeans, challenging the notion of these communities as mere survivors on the brink of starvation. The significance of the blinker wall extends beyond its immediate function as a hunting aid. Ashley Lemke, an underwater archaeologist at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, highlighted the implications of such findings. Lemke, experienced in underwater research and not directly involved in the study, commended the research team's efforts under the challenging conditions of underwater archaeology. She pointed out that these early examples of environmental manipulation and animal herding practices challenge our perceptions of Stone Age societies. This discovery, predating iconic constructions like Stonehenge, suggests a level of sophistication and community organization previously uncredited to these ancient peoples. To further validate the human origins of the blinker wall and its use. In hunting, the research team, led by Erickson, knows that additional archaeological evidence is essential. The presence of charcoal bits, arrowheads, ancient DNA, or even human waste. 
could provide the conclusive proof needed to cement the blinker wall's place in prehistoric European history. This ongoing investigation into the lives of prehistoric offers a tantalizing glimpse into the ingenuity and adaptability of early human societies, reshaping our understanding of their relationship with the natural world. In times when ice age shadows waned and human footsteps marked the land, this blinker wall, with stones aligned, became a trap by design refined. For reindeer herds, it served as guide. Between the wall and water, trapped they bide. An ancient hunt, with arrows flown. A testament to minds and methods, stone by stone. Much appreciation to you for giving of your time with us at Motivation at Hand. To know is to know how. We trust you will come back soon.